Gladys Berejiklian has a lot to answer for. It was her decision to send 1,200 local jobs from New South Wales offshore. The government's decision at that time to build the inner city train fleet in South Korea was a real kick in the guts for train manufacturers in the state of New South Wales, and particularly for those workers in the Hunter. These trains that they're building in South Korea don't even fit the tracks in the Blue Mountains. We've established that. This government is building 65 train sets in South Korea. Now that's 1,200 jobs that we could have here in the Hunter. We've got two great train manufacturers. We've got very high youth unemployment, high unemployment, and South Korea is going to benefit from all those jobs. With unemployment rates in Lake Macquarie and Newcastle at 5.7% now, and youth unemployment rates at 12.1%, it's essential that what we do is we build trains here in New South Wales and not offshore them. The former Newman Liberal National Government offshored Queensland's train bill to India in 2015 at a cost of $4.4 billion to the taxpayers and creating no local train manufacturing jobs in Queensland. Two, notes that these trains have been an absolute disaster with serious design issues which have led to the current Queensland Labor government suspending their delivery entirely. Three, calls on this government to <coughs> learn from this Queensland experience, reverse your decision to offshore the inter inter city fleet and build our trains right here in New South Wales. Last year the New South Wales Liberal Government sent six billion dollars worth of train contracts offshore. AMW research demonstrates that's more than 4,000 high quality blue collar engineering jobs gone to Korea and gone to China. It's going to mean we can't control quality and safety and the on-time delivery of these contracts. It's a disaster for jobs, it's a disaster for commuters, and it's going to have a very negative impact on the New South Wales economy. So what we're asking the government to do is can this contract, bring the job back to New South Wales, consult Blue Mountains commuters, and build a fit for purpose train. We can do it here. Now Victoria is getting 65 train sets, just like New South Wales, built in Victoria for $2 billion. Over in South Korea, we're paying $2.3 billion. So when this government says it's cheaper to build them in South Korea, that is wrong, because it's going to cost $300 million more to build them in South Korea than can be built here uh, in Australia. So this government needs to bring that contract home, bring it to the hunter, create local jobs uh, for local people with local skills. We've got a huge history of manufacturing in the hunter. We can build good quality, we can build good design, and that's why it's important the trains are built in the Hunter.